Hello, this is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight, and welcome to Know What's Next. I want to take just a few minutes to tell you about a true revolution that is sweeping the globe, and it has profound implications for all of us. It's a revolution in manufacturing called 3D printing, or additive manufacturing. Now, when you first hear the phrase 3D printing, you have to ask yourself, how do you print something and make it? Well, basically, in this case, lasers come down and they print by laying down a micro-thin layer of a material. Now, the material might be a type of plastic, might be a type of metal. Actually, quite a few different types of materials can be used. One micro-layer at a time, it's fixed. Another micro-layer, it's fixed. And it keeps adding up until you end up with, well, originally it was used to make prototypes. You could have rapid prototyping and see if your idea would work. And if it does, then you can, of course, go into mass production. But what's new is that they're using it to create final finished products. Now, now we're starting to get a revolution happening here. Now, what kind of final finished product might you print? Well, just last week I was in Europe and there was an 83-year-old Belgian woman who needed to have a jaw transplant. And a local company that was specializing in this actually used a 3D printer to print an exact copy of her jawbone out of titanium. It had all of the intricacies and details, including the areas where you would put nerves and blood vessels, and the doctors were able to transplant that into this woman, uh, and it was a success. She is uh, home now recovering, at only out of the hospital in three days, and wow, you can print a job on for a human being. In Australia, another part of the world, they, uh, there's a company there that has developed something called a bioprinter. And instead of plastic, or instead of titanium, they're actually putting out human tissue, one layer at a time, infusing it. And, well, what are they printing? What are they making? And the answer is, well, one of the things they're making is human arteries for transplant. Matter of fact, they can make a five centimeters worth of artery in about five hours, although they think they can get that down to be quite faster. They also see other human tissues that they will be able to print, as well as they believe in not too long a time, even human organs. All right, let's talk about the size for a minute. They can be the size of a microwave oven. Uh, they can be much larger than that. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest ones is uh, gonna fit on a tractor trailer truck. It's in Southern California and they're developing a 3D printer to print, get this, a house. Yes, the material that they'll be using in this case will be concrete. They also think they can use Adobe and it will print the house. Easier to move the printer than to move the house. And I look into the future just a little bit. I could easily see a company like Amazon having an industrial level 3D printer and companies submitting their designs to Amazon, they print out the customized product or the personalized product and mail it to you or mail it to the customer. I could also see them offering this for individuals. Wow, oh, that's kind of interesting. Could you have it since you can make it smaller? Is there another use? And the answer is, well, yeah, think about this. Uh, let's say I'm a service company and I have people going out in vans servicing, oh, let's say air conditioners or heating units. Maybe I'll have a 3D printer in the back of the van. So if there is a part that's needed, it could be printed and then installed right there on the spot. Hey, that's kind of unusual. Will that happen? Actually, I think it will happen. You see, if it can be done, it will be done. And if you don't do it, someone else will. Let's take this a little further. Let's say that I'm a manufacturer and I just manufactured a major machine or a product uh, that is being shipped to a distant country. I may decide to license or sell the company a 3D printer and give them the software or license the software to them so that they can print replacement parts as needed. This does represent a true revolution in manufacturing. It's spreading rapidly. Prices, well, anywhere from just under $10,000 up to a million dollars, depending on the type of printer you're going to get. But I can see this being very disruptive, not to companies that are doing mass production of the same thing. In other words, the same thing over and over and over again, they're making tens of thousands or millions. No, 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 that's not for 3D printing. But for personalized manufacturing, for just-in-time manufacturing, for manufacturing by anyone, anywhere, anytime, again, on demand. Now you have a revolution. This is Daniel Burris, 
author of Flash Foresight.